Good morning. This is the start of MB11 2018. It's a Thursday, hashtag Curry Thursday. It's the 15th of November and it's just coming up to 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm off to Worcester and it feels good. Hello, I'm in Worcester. And so 6.33 hours. Uh, there's the bridge and there's the Premier Inn. I had that pressure warning light for the tyres come on. I've had it before. Okay, so it was about 30 miles to go. I drove steadily. I've just kicked the tyres. They all seem okay. I'll pump them up and reset it tonight, but that's annoying. Anyway, uh, cost of coffee now. Just gone 8 o'clock. I found the first spoons. And we're off. Carpet for Mr. Manning. And a cherry chocolate porter from Lake House. 5.5% alcohol by volume. Hashtag Curry Thursday. And at the moment, two resignations, oh. <laughs> including Dominic Rab. It's going to be an interesting day. I'm keeping tuned to my live list. No, it's not live. Real list on Twitter. Aroma. You can smell the cherries. Mmm. Oh, huge amount of cherries. A little bit sharp. Got the chocolate coming through. It's a sharp, bitter, fruity finish. And a 5.5%. What a way to start your day. Uh, license from nine. B plus in a bit. Just for clarity, my last pint was from the Lake House Brewery. Number two, weighing in at 3.8% alcohol by volume, which is more sensible than 5.5, whatever. This is Seabright from Worcestershire Golden, actually, it says Worcestershire Golden Ale. Ah, it's from the Hop Shed. It's a Worcestershire Golden Ale. 3.8% alcohol by volume. They're Big on heads in this spoons. Mm. Mm. Oh. Um. It's got a multi bitter base and um, a nice bit of finish. Actually, that's quite there's a hint of fruit in there as well. B plus in a bit. Kind of nice. The next one will be, I'll get through this quite quickly, with a curry. There's a hint here. Mango chutney. Sarsens. And slate as one hop. 4% alcohol by volume. I scrub the pop doms, because that's what I do. Mr. Manning. Goldings. Oh, very malty. Nice traditional bit of finish. Sweet malt. Long finish. Um, it's well presented, but uh, too sweet and malty. Not like the German malt. B plus. Well, everyone seems to be resigning. The TV's on. Um, I'm Curry thursday -ing. Pint, Sarsons, mango chutney. All good. Lots of politics. I don't like the name. However, we do have fine ales. So here we are at the Bolt Beaters. Um, reacts to it. Okay. Yeah. What are we drinking? Twin Falls. Small world beers. 5.2% alcohol by volume. 
Chinook, Green Bullet and Cascade Hatch. Thank you, Fruity. Hello. But, yeah, it, it, it's the old story, isn't Ooh, it? I think yeah. it's old, you know, and the doctor, the only word the doctor says to you is... Don't. Tropical. Um, Complex. You, you've got to come to your Fruity. own decisions Bitter. about life. Be pleasant a bit. And no, I didn't know anybody called Number I two. Whether I was and this, yeah. I have no idea who it's from. And they won't it's tell me. Because it's brewed for the bull bait. It's, in. it's called YPA. It's 4.2% oh, alcohol yeah. by volume. Yeah. It's unfined, it's suitable Australia. for vegans. Well, no, it's relatively yeah. clear. Um, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And because all the various people used to go there, and the various people, one of them uh, reported this above. Rather malty. Slightly sweet. Bangers, bangers, bangers. B plus. I don't know. And, and, Actually, it's a um, nice lunchtime pint. They used to use my promoters for a lot of them. And I've got my watch. Yeah, yeah. Half one. They are people, and I'll say... Oh, we're going to check the tyres next. Well, there's a bass symbol, so that's good for all Mudgy. And it says Ale House, and there's a cathedral. I think this is positive sign. I've checked in, by the way. Real wood, Mr. Manny. And real beers. This one's from Shrewsbury. The Benz, 5.2%. From Slopium. Oh, what a cracking boozer. Ooh. Hoppy, fruity. Very fruity, actually. You can trust Slopium. I gotta be honest. I think it's just sneaked into B++. 